Hello, this is Craig from SharePoint Maven and in this video I would like to clarify the difference between SharePoint and OneDrive. Now, I have actually published a number of uh, blog posts uh, and I published YouTube videos previously on the similar topic, uh, but still, even several years after, um, after I published those and even several years into the um, SharePoint Online and Office 365, I still find lots and lots of users still confused by the difference uh, between SharePoint and OneDrive and most importantly where uh, they, they should store their files uh, in SharePoint or, or OneDrive. So that's exactly what I'm going to clarify today uh, and I will probably start with SharePoint. So SharePoint uh, is essentially an enterprise uh, application. It's a collaboration platform that uh, has existed for 17 years now uh, and historically it has been used by organizations to organize um, and collaborate on various types of content for the most part documents but the beauty about SharePoint of course is that the fact that it's almost like a one-stop shop we can uh, use it to organize documents we can uh, we can use it uh, to, to organize events news tasks and pretty much any type of content. So the screen you, you see right now uh, in front of you um, uh, is actually happens to be a Linen page. It's a, it's an share internet uh, built in SharePoint and SharePoint online to be precise. Um, but, but what you see on the screen is SharePoint. All right. As I, as I navigate around uh, to the different sites within SharePoint, for example, let me make it to my sales. Uh, department site. Uh, this is still SharePoint. As you can see, it's different, obviously. It's a different workspace, uh, probably with different security uh, settings, etc., and has different modules related to this particular department. But once again, so far, uh, the sites I'm showing you are all SharePoint sites. Let me uh, navigate to a few other ones. Human resources, you know, typically the sites you would expect uh, in, a you know, in a typical organizations organization. So uh, we might have a site for policies, we might have a site for uh, to organize our projects. I think you get the idea. Uh, once again, all the sites I have been showing you so far um, are all SharePoint. And obviously in SharePoint, um, you know, where we store files is inside of the document library. By default, every, uh, every site in SharePoint has uh, one document library. Of course, you can create additional document libraries, but uh, by default, uh, you only have uh, you only have one library per site, and that's where we uh, organize the documents. Now, of course, you know most of you are probably familiar with OneDrive. Um, just like SharePoint, uh, you can access it. It's it, it's part of your Office uh, 365 suite. It's part of your Office 365 ecosystem. So here is SharePoint and here is OneDrive. So let me go to my OneDrive. This is what my OneDrive for business looks like. Um, you know, probably for you, it could be a different mix of folders or when you just start using it, obviously it would be empty. Uh, but if you notice um, the major difference between OneDrive and SharePoint is that OneDrive does not have the complexity of SharePoint, right? Um, if you want to create a SharePoint site, um, you have to know what you're doing, all right? <laughs> you, you, you have to understand the information architecture, you have to uh, be proficient in how security works, um, what the site hierarchy should be, navigation, all this good stuff. Um, but with OneDrive, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It just literally files and folders, uh, and um, you you know you just upload uh, think of a OneDrive as pretty much a single document library all right uh, if SharePoint site you know it has um, it can have potentially uh, multiple document libraries and you have all these different sites in OneDrive you literally just have this single document library but here's the major difference um, OneDrive belongs to you only OneDrive every user in the organization has their own OneDrive, all right? Uh, it's tied to your user ID. Look at this, this is tied to your, my user ID, all right? So everything in OneDrive is private by default. 
everything, everything you upload to OneDrive, nobody can access the files and folders on your OneDrive unless... Well, unless, you know, you have your, obviously, IT team, IT admins, they can access your stuff. Uh, but also unless you maybe shared information with others. So everything is private. As you can see, most of the folders in my uh, OneDrive are uh, private. But uh, obviously, you can share them um, with, with your colleagues if need be. All right. Uh, in SharePoint, on another hand, um, you know, typically uh, multiple site members will have access uh, to, to, to the same site. So the question then that, you know, might arise here is, well, you know, now that we have these choices, where should we really organize our documents? And the answer is pretty simple. If you just want to work on a, uh, on a file, well, if you want, I'm sorry, to store the file, uh, and and not really share it with anyone. Maybe you want to be the only one who who can modify the file file uh, for a moment. Uh, well, obviously OneDrive is is a great place for it because it's private to you. On the other hand, if you want to collaborate with your colleagues and um, and sh you know obviously um, you know co-author the document, share the document with your team members, it really belongs in. Uh, uh, on a SharePoint site. Because what happens if, if you decide to put a file in your OneDrive and then decide to go on a two-week vacation, well, nobody, once again, nobody, uh, none of your team members uh, will be able to access your, your document documents. Now, with that being said, so if, let's say, you know, the typical workflow, right, you work on a document, now you're ready to, uh, to, to share it with everyone. Uh, obviously, um, you know, you can still share, you can share a document. Uh, let me go into, in, in here, for example, in, uh, to one of my files. Obviously, you can share a particular document with your colleagues, but then again, you really don't want to do it every single time you, um, you want to collaborate on the document, uh, a particular set of documents, right? So, in, in other words, if you truly want to make this file available uh, to other you know, to your project or department, you know, uh, members, what w would be the smart thing to do is move the file from OneDrive to SharePoint. And the great thing is that now you can freely move stuff around uh, between OneDrive and SharePoint and, you know, and back and forth. And you can even move and copy files between uh, various SharePoint sites. But for the purposes of uh, this particular video, uh, if I want to move the file to uh, let's say SharePoint, let's say I am ready to to uh, to move this to a SharePoint site, uh, and you know have have it accessible by my colleagues. Um, instead of share, um, you would uh, pretty much move or copy the file uh, to uh, to a particular SharePoint site. All right. So in this case, let's move it, and I can select a particular uh, a particular maybe um, you know site. I want to move the, um, um, you know, this file to. Uh, you, then you will select a particular document library. I, I happen, I happen to have uh, several document libraries on my, on my SharePoint site. Uh, so we might as well just move it here, and then you just complete the move. All right, and it will come up with a confirmation message here in a second that the file has been moved. You can probably see it disappeared from my OneDrive since I moved it. All right. So hopefully this clarifies the confusion between OneDrive and SharePoint. Uh, once again, I do see a number of organizations um, that um, migrated from uh, file shares, migrated from uh, other cloud applications, uh, and instead of uh, instead of using SharePoint, they pretty much migrated to somebody's OneDrive. That's a big no-no. All right, um, really, it was not really supposed uh, to be used in that manner. Um, or, you know, some of the files, obviously, some of the files in you know, the personal files, etc., will belong in users OneDrive. But majority of what you currently have in your, um, if you're in, you know, migrating from file shares, um, if you're from your network drives or other cloud applications, you should really uh, create the proper SharePoint sites, uh, team sites, um, Office 365 groups, whatever it takes, and then migrate the content from. Uh, from from those respective folders to proper sites in SharePoint. All right. 
hopefully this clarifies it. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, hope to see you soon on my channel. Goodbye.